What's going on guys, it's your average consumer and we finally got another space done in our studio. So let me introduce you guys to our entertainment room. But this is it you guys, this is what we call our entertainment room. This is our basically our replacement for the living room. Uh, so if you have a living room or a living space that you wanna get some inspiration or get some ideas for, this is gonna be the video for you. Now we also did my personal office, so if you guys are interested in like a nice office setup, I personally think it looks really dope. I'll have it linked down below so you guys can check it out. But we're here for the entertainment. This is where we, you know, kick our feet up, relax, have a nice chill aesthetic to it as well. Lots of walnut accents can be found all over here. Not a ton of tech. We wanted everything here to be pretty functional. Now we'll talk about the aesthetic a little bit later, but we're here for entertainment, right? So basically we have a full system here. Like this, we've got our TV, we've got a full surround sound system, consoles, like, you know, the things that we would be entertained with. So the TV we went with here is the LG OLED G3. This is the 83 inch version. We needed a big TV for a wall this size. One of my favorite things about it is just like how impossibly thin it is. So it gets flush with the wall. So obviously it has really good picture quality. So if you wanna watch movies, that's gonna be great. But it also, gives you all the specs you would need for like today's consoles. So up to 120 frames per second can be used on this TV. Uh, it also has like a dedicated gaming menu. So if I grab my remote and I open up the settings, you can see right here, all the things that you would wanna see as a gamer, your variable refresh rate over here, 120 frames. So you can change the settings based on what kind of game you plan to be playing. Keep it on FPS, cause your boy loves some Apex. So this has some settings and features that I think gamers would really like. Uh, even this like crazy multi-view section where you can have two things on the screen at once while you're gaming, it's, it's wild. Uh, but this is an awesome TV. Like you can't go wrong with LG OLEDs. Oh, cause this thing is all over the place. Listen, some people hate this. I love it though. This is, this makes life easy. <laughs> I'm sure. Now, obviously, we're talking about gaming, so we got the consoles over here. We got our Xbox Series X, our PS5, and we even have the good old Switch down here at the bottom. We got the Zelda dock, since that kind of matches the aesthetic here. And then, of course, we've got them all hooked up to our sound system. Over here, we're using a Denon receiver, which basically powers all of our speakers. We have like a 5.1 system over here. Uh, and of course, you guys know me, or if you don't, I love Klipsch. Klipsch is my go-to brand when it comes to the surround sound speakers, like dedicated home theater speakers. Of course, I'll have models and everything linked down below in the description so you guys can see exactly what we're working with. No Atmos, because I'm not trying to do too much in here, but it more than works right now. And inside of our TV stand, we got a bunch of stuff like controllers and cables and whatnot. There's like three drawers to this system. Should actually organize this a little bit more. I don't know why I'm showing you guys this. So having these three drawers is definitely nice for a room where, you know, controllers and accessories and that kind of thing are going to be in the space. You want those extra storage units so they're not visible all around your, you know, spot you're supposed to chill in. But this is like a really dope TV stand. What's nice is that you can actually move this portion of it so I could slide this in and adjust the length of it. Uh, this took months to get here. Um, but when it came, I was very, very happy with it. The design is cool, it looks good, and it's functionally exactly what we needed. Now, of course, with all of these things getting plugged up in the back, cable management, we did carve out a hole in the back of the TV. So we have everything plugged up to the TV, running down to everything over here. And for power, we have it all sitting inside of this small little box. So it's gonna keep everything nice and tidy. Now with a the proper home theater system, we have a nice sub also from Klipsch. Uh, but right on top of it, that's kind of where we keep the, the real controllers. Those are just like, you know, extras. So I got my Elite 2 controller over here for Xbox and my PlayStation DualSense Edge controller. This one happens to be 
colored by colorware for like that retro look. And they're both sitting on a stand made from my friends over at Geek Made Designs. They did like a custom job for me. Uh, so huge shout out to them. They make absolutely amazing stuff. So I'm super happy about this because, you know, you can have both pro controllers. If you're not a fanboy, you can have them next to each other and live in harmony. It can happen, you guys. The idea is to be able to just chill here, you know, grab a controller. You start playing, like, you know, you just, just relax. You know, that's just, that's just the vibe in here. Now, this couch is actually from Article. Now, I think years ago, they sent over this couch and it's what we have in my man cave at home. And I loved it so much. I was like, listen, this is the couch for me. I'm gonna get another one. So I bought my own. I actually really, really like this couch. Now, you might notice over here, we got a little something called the couch console. So I actually reached out to them, I think a few years ago, actually. And I figured like, listen, this is the perfect spot for it if you're chilling. Uh, they've got this interesting little contraption over here that holds like drinks. So even if you're like moving around and you're like, you know, you're grabbing a seat and you plop down, you don't have to worry about like your drink spilling. It's got like this very interesting way of keeping the drink positioned upward. So that's pretty cool. Um, and it also has like this built-in armrest. So if you're just chilling, you're playing your game, you're using this armrest, you can grab this one. You know, you're, you're living the life. So that's dope. It also has this other section that can be used for all kinds of stuff. Like you could throw snacks in here. You can take their spacer, kind of keep it covered. And there's actually a hidden trick over here under the armrest. You can have some storage. So if you want to have like a portable charger, maybe your controller is dying. You can take this portable charger, grab your controller, plug in, and you know, you can still keep gaming without even leaving the couch. Now, this whole thing does come with like this built-in USB-C port so that you can like plug it into your portable charger. Me personally, I like charging directly from the portable charger. And if you're not using the armrest, you can have it like this. It has this little crease right here that you can you know, throw your phone into. So let's say you're you're gaming and you know, you're on FaceTime. It's cool to just be able to have that option right next to you while you're chilling on the couch. And speaking of armrests, we actually have like two, not really armrests, these are like more like side tables. So these are side tables that you can have right on the side of your couch. But what's nice about these is, you, as you can see, they've got built in outlets. Uh, and right here, we've got a Pixel tablet chilling over here. Just for the sake of like having a voice assistant, I think any space should have access to like a real voice assistant if you have like a smart home. So I like having the Pixel tablet over here because it lets us do voice controls for some of the stuff that we have in the room. And if I ever want to just, I don't know, use a tablet, I have a quick tablet that I can message people on, check emails, whatever. What's also kind of nice about having the Pixel tablet here is if I want to throw on some like ambient music in the background, instead of dedicating these speakers or anything to that, it's got a decent enough speaker where I can say, play some lo-fi girl on Spotify. So if anybody wanted to just chill, maybe bring up their laptop and you know do some work on one of these, they could. But we do have a fully dedicated desk setup with Windows and Mac, so let's go check that out. So we have this awesome desk from the folks over at Artifox. Now, this is an amazing desk. Not only is it well-crafted, has the walnut look that we want, but it has a lot of functionality too. It's not a gigantic desk, so it works with this space. So we've got like a laptop, as well as an external monitor, some speakers, it even has this riser over here. But they have some extra functionality, like I said. Uh, we've got these pegs over here that work great as headphone stands. So we can kind of throw this on over here. That's where it lives, not in the way of anything, not standing up on top of the desk, unless you wanna really showcase it. So we've got it chilling over here on the side. And there's even a full blown section for cable management. So that's what we've got going on over here. They've got all these little holes so that you can use your Velcro straps to keep everything nice and organized. And what's crazy is that we've got this HP Omen system hooked up to this entire setup as well. 
Uh, with this monitor, we can switch between the two inputs. So if we want to go Mac, we can. If we want to do Windows, we can do that as well. So depending on what you want to do up here, even if you want to do some gaming, you can game on the monitor. We can just put the MacBook to the side, pull out our keyboard. We got our mouse ready. You can jump in, start gaming. We got the Razer Deathstalker V2. So nice, slim profile keyboard. So when we're not using it, we can just kind of tuck it away over here. And this is the Logitech G604, which is actually great, not only for gaming, because you have all these macro buttons, it's a gaming mouse, uh, but it works really well for us in terms of video editing. So this mouse works great for any OS you try to put it in. Did they discontinue it? Yeah. So oh, no. I'm telling you, if you can get your hands on it, do it. Uh, I, why am I telling these guys that? We gotta buy more J before, <laughs> before anybody watches this. <laughs> And our dual desktop speakers are the Canto U2s. So it also fits the aesthetic, looks really good. But speaking of aesthetics, we haven't really talked about these like panels that you guys are seeing on both sides of this room. So we picked this up. These are like walnut panels that we picked up from, I think it was the Woods Veneer Hub or something like that. And they've been working out really great for us because they help with acoustics and they obviously help with the overall look. Now, if you've seen any of my other room tours or house tours, you know that I love brilliant switches. So usually they have like this screen where you can do all kinds of cool stuff. I wasn't trying to put a screen in every single room that we have in this studio. That, it would have just been too much, too expensive. So they got some cheaper options. This is just like a regular dimmer. So you can, you know, do the regular dimming thing, but it still works on their app and it's still smart, connected to the Wi-Fi, so you can turn it off with your voice assistant or anything like that. And if you guys really do like the aesthetics and everything that like you're kind of seeing and you want to, you know, use it for your own space, I'll have them linked down below. Like something like this walnut coffee table that we have right in the center. I got it off Amazon so you guys can see that down below too. I mean, even the rug, I don't know. I'm just here to give you guys some inspo, okay? So if you like anything, you know where to find it. And I guess to wrap up the whole furniture, walnut thing. The last piece of lighting that we got over here is actually from Nanoleaf. Uh, so these, whenever I saw them, I actually was just like, mm, not crazy about that one, but it, it, it kind of works in here, like when you're not too close, but I like it. It adds a bit of flair to the room. This would have been a really empty wall unless we added some kind of like artwork or something. Um, but I like the extra little lighting. It gives a nice touch to the space. The only thing I really need to do is get this cable hidden behind this wall. We'll get there in good time. We have other rooms to work on. And uh, I guess the last piece of tech to talk about is, I mean, we got a Dyson vacuum. Uh, this is the one we got in that last massive tech unboxing. I've fallen in love with the, what is it? The fluffy optic roller head because this thing shows you all of the dirt on your floor. And that was, good, that was really good that was timing perfect. to accidentally turn off the light, but it lets you see all of the dirt as you're ready to clean it up. Like all of that is just really satisfying to see the dirt, swipe forward, pull back, and then you see it gone. Nothing beats that. I'm old this is this is some old man talk right here now nah, but i actually do like this whole setup because it also has the submarine which is like a mop so we can swap that out for the mop part and you know do a little extra cleanings we can keep this place nice and spiffy but yeah guys this is it this is our entertainment space where we just chill when we're in the studio and we want to just relax and watch something play something this is where we do it chill vibes in here. Let me know what you guys think though in the comments and stay tuned for more room tours. We got a couple of good ones coming up. Excited to show you. Peace. Gamers Paradise. It's, it's on the way. It's on the way.